Hello and welcome to the fourth annual International Conference on Distributed Systems, Parallel Computing and, finally, Databases. I'm Ivan Prisajny from Vorkedo. I'm an infrastructure engineer for a lot of years and I'm building systems and solve optimizational problems there. Today, I'm your co-host with Vitaly. Oh, hi everybody. I'm an assistant professor at IT Mo University and I'm working on concurrent execu uh, evaluations and executions. So let's stop talking about us. Allow me to introduce the most important people who are our speakers. Yes, let's talk about our speakers. This time we'll bring you 16 talks by great engineers, researchers and scientists. They will share with you their deep insights, experience and knowledge. You could agree that the, uh, like that the speakers are the most important people of our conference, except for you, of course, our attendees. We cannot do anything without other cool guys, moderators and experts. You can see them on the slide. They will help us to cover topics in greater detail. Let's thank them a lot. And it's time to thank our program committee. Uh, our program committee worked hard for half a year to prepare our program and conference for you. Uh, and also this time we have a lot of new members among us. Uh, they are Dmitry Ivanov, Vladimir Ozerov, Ivan Panamarov, Anton Podkapayev and me, Ivan. And thanks a lot for building high quality program for us. Yeah, thanks. Like, let's congratulate them for making the great conference. I hope so. Uh, now let's move to other things that make Hydra unique this season. This year we extended our focus with a new topic, the database internals. So we will be talking about databases designs, approaches and algorithms. And we have three talks on this topic this year by Rafael Carvalho, how SillyDB makes LSM tree compaction state of the art by leveraging RAM conjecture and controller theory. The talk by Satyam Shekhar, pr Pragmatic Code Generation for Efficient Execution, and Ilya Kokorin, an overview of HTAP workloads, changes, and solutions. Also this year, we have a series of talks by Nikita Kovel for everyone who wants to go deep inside their concurrent computing. Uh, Nikita will talk about concurrent data structures and log-free algorithms. Please also note that this year will be more talks in Russian, so it will be, I hope, easier for our attendees. And I have to uh, like highlight, yes. I have to highlight that the next day or the second day of our online conference will be free for everybody. So this is coming today, and if you want your friends to join, this is exactly the right time to advertise them, our conference. Also, I have to remind you that we will have an offline day on the 26th of June and we wait you there. Yes, and let's talk about our offline day. Offline day will be held in park in Pulkovska together with the CPP Russia 2022 conference. It's great, I, I think I'm just amazed about it. I hope and hope you too. Online participants will also have access to the broadcast of both conferences and interviews with our speakers. If you did like the conference program, the atmosphere, please come to our offline day. There will be different cool activities to participate in and of course great talks. Now let's talk about the offline day tickets. To upgrade your tickets, please connect our support. If you fill out the feedback form after online days, you also will be able to get discount. Anyway, with any questions about tickets, discounts and upgrading, contact our support team. I know, Ivan, that you are really excited to participate in offline day, but yes. let's get back to online. We have two days and apart from the talks, we will have so like main studio activities. For example, uh, Hydra Heads podcast is back, but uh, with but live this time, yeah, with me and 
and me. <laughs> Ivan today and yes. like there will be tomorrow. Uh, we will have four speakers and members of the programming committee who will come to us. So Dmitry Ivanov, Vladimir Ozerov, Anton Podkopayev and Petr Kuznetsov. Yeah, and by the way, we will be talking about databases a lot with them. So join. And next, yeah, our hosts. Today we'll be hosting for you this day with Vitaly, me, Ivan and Vitaly, right? And tomorrow, the second online day, we'll be hosting for you uh, and hosted uh, by Alexey Fedorov and Mir Ivanov. And we all will be joining together on closing the conference and you shall do that so also. Um, it will be, it will be yeah. too crowded. I think the thing with coronavirus is a little bit... Yes, drop yes, down. But, but yeah, co coronavirus has already passed away, I hope. Uh, so that's why we are having the offline day in the, in the, in the end of the month. So. Anyway, let's watch the video about our conference platform. The online conference site is available on all types of devices. In front of you is the Today page. It is a dashboard that shows in real time the status of all activities of today. Using the icons on the cards, you can see what language the activity is in and what its difficulty is. And this icon is used to mark activities by partners. Pay attention to the block already watched. This is a group of activities in which you've already participated. You can leave a review for each of them in just two clicks. Search for interesting activities by title, tag, or speaker. There are also filters by language, complexity, and type. Talk and workshop are the traditional formats of activities in the conference program. A BOF session is an informal conversational activity where you talk with experts on a given topic. Please note that BOF sessions are not recorded. Main studio. Most often it is a podcast format or a live interview. Add activities to your favorites and be notified when they start. If you keep your business on your calendar, you'll probably find it convenient to add the activities you want to attend. Click on the meatballs on the card and download the ICS file. It will have a description of the activity and a direct link to it. Pay attention to this icon. This is how we mark activities that are not recorded and will not be available for viewing after they are completed. For example, discussions after talks and BOF sessions. Finally, you're in the player. First of all, look at the chat room. It's waiting for your questions. The same chat room can also be opened on Telegram. Go to the presentation or other additional material by clicking on the button below the player. Speed up the video and catch up with the live stream if you're late to the start. Or slow it down if you can't keep up with the speaker. Feedback is very important to us, so leave feedback by clicking on rate. If you're having trouble viewing, click on the question icon, leave a message, and a support staff member will come running quickly to help sort out your problem. Go back to the program without interrupting your current activity. Minimize the player window and choose what else you want to participate in. Navigate through the different activities without opening them in the larger player. When the activity finishes, you'll see a screen with a join the discussion button. Click it to jump into the discussion and chat with the speakers in an informal setting. Don't forget to turn on your camera. Remember that discussions are not recorded. Welcome back and hope you like the video. Thank you guys for making a great video explaining yeah. us how to participate. Meow. meow meow. You like the kitties? Yeah, I like the kitties. Okay. Uh, let's go feed them. Okay. <laughs> with what with what? Sorry. With 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 talks. Okay. Yes. With talks. Okay, okay. Okay. So you talks. saw a lot of icons on our video about the difficulty of the talk. Uh, there will be only four types of talks at Hy at Hydra. So the overview or smoothie. The talk doesn't require extra skills or background. Anyone can watch the talk and no extra skills is required. The helmet, the guy in the, the engineer guy. This is the talk for the engineers. Anything that may be applied to the real job right now. You can watch the talk and apply it right away. 
Uh, however, you need a little bit of special background to understand the talk. It's not anything tricky, but you should know the basis of the technology that will be described in the talk. The academic one, uh, this is mostly the theory and not particularly di directly applied to real jobs, but this is still interesting to watch. And hardcore, this is low-level talk where you need a deep knowledge of the technology described and we will be talking about internals, under the hood, and so on. Cool. Yeah. We are moving on? We are moving on. Okay, let's move on. And now my lovely part about our, uh, not sponsor, maybe sponsor, but partner. And it's the Querify Labs. Querify Labs helps technology startups create new data management products focusing on query engines, query optimizers, and distribute data processing. Querify Labs also helps Hydra to be great conference. Thank you, Querify Labs. I love you so much. Oh, uh -huh. If you want to try... Uh, I'm sorry, guys. Yes, <laughs> I didn't finish. Uh, if you want to try yourselves, it's important, most important part. If you want and dream to build databases or already have experience with it, Querify Labs has few open vacancies, the links to which you may find in the exhibition section. And also, the important part, another one, Vladimir Ozerov, the CEO of Querify Labs, interviewed today for the Hydra Hats series on June 3rd. Also, Vladimir will participate in the roundtable about cleared cloud sorry, databases. Come join us tomorrow. Do, do, do you know whether they have the interview for the one who applied through the Hydra conference? Say again? Website. Okay. Do they have the interviews in Curify Labs? Or are they just, just they hi hire everybody? I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, like, for example, if they are having a live coding interviews or they are just talking about internals, I don't know. Okay. We, we shall, uh, we okay. certainly, yeah, we shall, shall, shall ask. Uh, let's dimmer about that. Yeah, let's but ask let's him later. Yeah. Yeah. So besides Hydra, this season holds six other conferences. Uh, two, uh, two of them already have passed, so you can touch the recording. I'm pretty sure that you can find something interesting in all other conferences, like s some talks, Q&A, tech interviews, discussions, or different activities like quizzes. I like quizzes, to be honest. For those we waiting don't. to attend all conferences of the season, we have full pass. And there is also full pass plus offline for everyone who wants to attend an offline day. If you want to upgrade the ticket, please contact our support. Great. And before we proceed, don't forget to join our Telegram channels, email, support channels, and other channels you may connect. Okay. Um, what else? What else? What else? Um, Let's talk about yes. the talks yes, that are talk. going right now. Yes, so the, uh, okay. we will be talking about the first slot where we have three talks in parallel. So one of the, one of them is Intro to Concurrent Programming, first part out of, out of the tree by Nikita Koval from JetBrains on classic stack and Q algorithms. So if you want to come up with concurrent algorithms in general, that's the good way to try to do that. Uh, their expert will be Dmitry Tsitela from DevExperts. Uh, great. And another talk will be by Rafael Caravaglio from SilDB. He's an outstanding software engineer there and he is building state-of-the-art compaction strategies for uh, centuries in SilDB. And he, his uh, expert will be Ilya Kokorin from um, ITMO University, maybe? Maybe. Yeah, uh, yeah I think it's for, he's from <laughs> ITMO University. Yeah. Okay, so, and the last talk of, for the first slot will be by Anton Malachov from Huawei about fusing efficient parallel for loops with a composable task scheduler. So, if you want to know about parallel algorithms, so you know something like that about Intel TBB, OpenMP, or uh, Silk, this is the talk for you. Anton will cover how to do a proper scheduler for in kind kind of general case. Uh, his expert will be Konstantin Vladimirov. Yes, and those are three talks that are waiting for you in the next couple of minutes. And before we're proceeding to, the, to them, don't forget that uh, it will help us a lot if you will be, uh, sorry, um, yes, it will help us a lot if you will be sharing your feedback and rate the talks that you will be watching. It takes just a couple of minutes for you and and it will help us a lot. 
yeah, it will help us improve the conference in general and probably give you a great talks next year. So uh, the opening is nearly over. Thanks for staying with us for this brief opening and let's have fun. Yeah, watch the talks and move to the discussions. Thank you. <laughs>